Hello and welcome to the video where we are going to be installing and running Minecraft on Microsoft Windows 2000 from the year 1999. The computer we are going to be doing this with is a Dell Latitude model D505 from the year 2004, which puts this laptop over 12 years old. It has a 1.4 GHz Intel Celeron processor with about a gigabyte of RAM. And of course, it does run Windows 2000. Now to download Minecraft, you're going to want to do it on a newer computer, as no internet browser that supports Windows 2000 can display the page properly. To download it, you're not going to want to click the big main download button, you're going to want to go below it to the alternative download link. Once you get to this page, you're going to want to select the second Windows option, which is a legacy version of the Minecraft launcher, which should work with Windows 2000. Once you've saved that, feel free to throw it onto your USB drive, because Windows 2000 does support USB, so you can just throw it onto the computer. Then all you have to do is bring it over to your desktop. Now, you're not quite ready to launch Minecraft right yet. There's one more major step you're going to have to do before you run it. Go to your web browser and type in oldapps.com. Once it brings you to the page, in its search bar, type in Java. In the search results, go to new and old versions of Java, and scroll down to Java 6 Update 25. You're going to want to save this file to your desktop or anywhere you're going to be able to find it. Once you install Java, restart the computer immediately. And once it's restarted, you'll now be able to launch Minecraft. And as you can see, it identifies itself as Windows 2000. Now that you're at the launcher, at the bottom right hand corner it should identify itself as the latest version of Minecraft. Then feel free to click play. The launcher will take longer than usual because chances are your Windows 2000 computer is much older than a normal computer you'd use. And eventually you will get to the main menu screen if everything's supported. Although it does give me an error saying an old graphics card is detected which will not be supported in the future. Now, if you try this yourself on almost any Windows 2000 machine, chances are it's not going to work. Technically, Minecraft can run on Windows 98 and higher, but there's an issue. One, if you try it on a Windows 98 machine, a Windows 2000 machine, and even some Windows XP machines, chances are you're going to get an error when you launch it saying pixel format not accelerated. Now that has nothing to do with the operating system, and it has everything to do with the graphics card. Now, um, Minecraft requires a somewhat recent graphics driver for your card to make it work correctly. Now, it's just because Windows 98 Windows 2000 are very old, um, machines that support those operating systems have not had an update for their graphics driver in a really long time. So it really has nothing to do with the operating system, but all to do with the graphics driver. And um, it just so happens this laptop does support a new driver. So you're probably wondering how it actually plays. Well, I went into it and started a single player world. And I called it Windows 2000 and set it on creative. It took about a good two minutes for it to start loading the world, and when it did, it ran pretty badly. There was a major delay in input to controls, and it was overall just a bad experience, until the game eventually just crashed. It turns out this had nothing to do with Windows 2000 or Java, it had to do with the computer running out of memory. I ended up turning a lot of settings down, putting the graphics to fast, and bringing down the frame rate, and putting down the render distance. And now I tried some multiplayer servers, the first of which being Mindplex. It started logging in, and it took a lot longer than usual. Once I got there, it was completely unplayable. Instead of frames per second, it was seconds per frame, and there was almost no input. Eventually I thought I was getting somewhere, but then the game crashed again, because it ran out of virtual memory. I tried another server that I play often, which is Lord's Network, which surprisingly, after logging in, worked almost perfectly. Unlike Mindplex, where there are hundreds of players just running around in the same spot, this is a more open world game where the um, processes of loading the world are done um, on server side. I ended up doing some actual work on my shelter because the game played almost flawlessly. Another server that I play often is Skyblocks. Now logging into this was the exact same thing. It stayed at a nice solid 30 frames per second and I couldn't get it to drop. 
I was actually surprised at how well this 12 year old laptop could run um, a game which is Minecraft is not necessarily graphics intensive, but it is an intensive game on most core components of your computer. And no matter how much stuff I tried to get on screen at once, the frame rate would not really drop. So I hope this does prove to you that Windows 2000 is not completely obsolete and can do some cool things. Some curiosities though, the icon in the taskbar is inverted for some reason, and your icon on the desktop has an ugly white box around it for some weird reason. Can't really figure that one out though. So thanks for watching this video, and I hope to see you in the next one.